well, we started the game okay, but probably signs early weren't, I don't thought, fantastic. Um, oh, we just didn't bring our contest face on. Like, we just uh, probably wanted the ball nice, and and, uh, and Richmond, you know, they, they were willing to work a little bit harder in the clinches, and as in, you know, we got cleaned up in the contested footy, so you're sort of starting to uh, start on the back foot when you get cleaned up in the contested ball, so, um, which was really disappointing, and... So when you're sort of under the pressure all the time, where you've got to win the footy back, it's uh, you know puts a lot of pressure on your defensive aspects of your game um, when you're not getting that even ball. So that they were able to use it a fair bit better in that area, and uh, and they obviously got a fair bit few opportunities forward of the footy. That's been the thing that's given a bit of hope the last few weeks. You've been contested, contested footy been good. Yeah. Wasn't answered. No, it wasn't. Um, yeah, and spoke to the players about. Uh, you know, despite what we've actually gone through in the last month, I'm sure they've been very disappointed in the fact we've walked away with not a not a win and, and really hurt by that. But in, in actual fact, that's what you probably should be walking away from, hurt more from, is that we didn't we didn't get that. So, not consistently anyway. We got it in patches, but uh, yeah. And then obviously concentration errors. You know, in the last last part of quarters, you know, they kicked I think five odd goals in the last two minutes of every quarter you know, of uh, two the quarters, I should say. And they just, that, that's hard to come back from. So, you know, so we just can't be trying to defend 18 goals or whatever they kicked in the end of the game. You, you can't hang it as an excuse, but that must have been the play that delivered out of bounds just when you had a bit of momentum back on the merit. Yeah, it is, but I mean, yeah, maybe, but I mean, if you sort of look at it, the goal line should have been defended too, so, and it wasn't. So, you know, so it just, um, to pick one moment, we always have pivotal moments in games. On, there is, but uh, you know when we were coming at them, and the lead away, just concentration errors. It's just it's frustrating, um, and something we've got to learn, eliminate from our game. And we we won't accept it, and we won't tolerate it until we do. Just look, did you think that was out of bounds? Though? That, that I, I couldn't honestly see Brownie. I, from where I was on the boundary line, I I couldn't see. I. Don't even know whether it was because Rod ran over or because he actually kicked it out. I, I absolutely have no idea what it was for. So. You've been aware that he's been doing it a few times this, this season. Perhaps umpires have been all about it. Oh, probably, but I couldn't pick the distance. I don't know whether he was standing beside it or he was actually standing five metres away from it. I actually don't know the distance, so I couldn't comment on Brent. I wasn't from an elevated position. So how do you go out the, the honourable losses are out the window now? Oh, they've always been. They've always been out the window. Um, you're accepting mediocrity if you... Uh, if, if they are, so um, again, being brave um, and it would have been nice to be able to come down and get a result today uh, and get reward for effort, but we're still um, we're still looking for that, so until we get it, we've got to keep searching for it. Mr Clark, what was the story with him tonight? Um, he's up there before the line and he stays thinking about beating a bit early, he can just get involved in the game? Uh, well, we throw a lot around a lot of things. Um, you know, obviously uh, trying to get the footy down there. We didn't still, I mean, they got the footy down the inside 50, obviously, a fair bit more than us, but we still got our fair look at it. Um, so having players down there that can still, you know, get make the most of those opportunities, it's still what you're after. Um, you know, I thought that uh, Brock and, and Louis were more than capable enough to be able to cover that part of the ground. So, um, you know, so we just left him where he was. And then obviously late, we need to be able to get some ascendancy. And we, we sort of didn't feel like we we're getting it from the other two at the time. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm not walking away pleased with anyone's efforts today. I, I thought that, uh, yeah, we're getting games into players, but you know you can't count your games. You just you can't count your games. We're here to play AFL football. Uh, this is the big boys where the big boys play. So um, it's more about our intent. Do we get the right intent? If we don't have the right capability, we've got to get the right intent. We didn't get either today. Um, more talk through it, and that's what we've got to do. You just got to be able to make sure you talk through it and um, express our disappointment. They're disappointed, they're hurting. It's just a matter of being able to sort of make sure that we can get some things out of it and reinforces why we have our game strategy and the structure that we do, and and why the effort and the intent's got to be there for us to be a um, a competitive footy team. So um, I think they'll, I think they get that, Hamo, after our discussion. Well, it's normally me looking for the positive guys, but it seems like you guys are doing the job for me. So, 
Um, but again, I, I think that as a team collective, we didn't do a good enough job. So uh, Martin got off the hook, uh, Foley got off the hook. Um, yeah, so obviously collectively, it takes a collective effort to win this game. We didn't get that today. That includes Rainsy. There's a big game for you next week, and bookies are still having favourites, but you're winless. Like it's, you, you, you're not overwhelming favourites. Well, I don't think we necessarily sit here and say we deserve it. No. <laughs> no. No, not at all. Because um, the bookies don't determine the result of the game, Hamo, we do. No, no. I mean, obviously, the prep he's had, he's had a full pre season and games and, um, and everything, but no, he was just uh, more out of uh, the fact he hasn't played the last uh, four or five weeks. He, I thought his conditioning was pretty sound and pretty good. But yeah, we just wanted to get some run a little bit late, which we were. Um, third quarter wasn't too bad, but last quarter, obviously, they run over the top of us and they're a bit more stronger around the ball than us.